Mom, everybody knows I'm in rehab. It's the biggest news in Lagos. <laughs> you all know I'm in rehab, right? Now, who do I need to fuck to get a drink around here? <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. So, <laughs> Blood Sisters have dropped. See, Blood Sisters, seeing the trailer of Blood Sisters, I got really excited about it because, see, the trailer was just captivating. There is no way you watch the trailer of Blood Sisters and you will not be, you will not, you will not be anticipating for the series to drop. So it dropped today, which is May 5 and it's on Netflix. And to show you how captivating that trailer was, I had to put a reminder, I had to set a reminder because I don't want to just hear, oh, Blood Sisters dropped and I forgot because I was doing something or I now come on Twitter and I'll see ah Blood Sisters is um, trending on Twitter. I know that yeah, Twitter has a way of actually giving you some spoilers. You get to know what's happening and what's not happening. I wanted to be amongst the first that will watch it and digest it and then come to people and say, okay, let us now share our ideas. What are your thoughts about these Blood Sisters? That is why I said, you know what, I must be amongst the first set of people to watch it. See, these Blood Sisters, they did it, they did it for me. So this Blood Sister is the first Nollywood Netflix series, series that is on Netflix. So congrats to Ebony Life. I have to give it for Ebony Life. Like I feel Ebony Life at this point in time, they were just trying to, they are just trying to do, okay, you know what? We are so sorry for Chief Daddy Part 2 that we gave to you. So I feel Ebony Life decided to sit down and that is all thanks to Mo Abudu. Decided to sit down and say, you could know what? We have to give these people a banger and they just did that they gave us a banger from beginning of that series to the end they dropped four episodes today so from the beginning of the first episode to the fourth for the first episode to the first episode i have to give it to them what i don't really know is that it is the end of this series are we going to expect something more although the way it ended i'm not expecting anything but it was fun to watch like I enjoyed watching every scene. Like, I won't say that there's a particular scene that was uncalled for. Like, every scene was worth it. Every scene of this um, Blood Sisters was worth it. it. The actors... Okay, first and foremost, I came prepared. I came with book. I had to jot down things. Like, I watched. I went back. I watched. I had to rewind. I said, no, no, no. I don't think I understood what they were trying to do here. That is why I said, you know what? I'm going to write down to that I don't even forget as well as I give it for this gist. So right now, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Initially, I wanted to do episode one. I give you uh, like a breakdown of episode one in one um, video, episode two in another video. But I'm thinking, it might be boring for you guys. So I'm just going to see how I can wrap the whole four episodes into one video and still not make this video long. So, this Blood Sisters started with a banger. We saw um, Sarah and Kemi burying someone. And I'm like, what happened? Like, who are they burying? Sarah and Kemi is um, in um, Ini Dima Okoji, I think that's her name. And then Nancy Isime. Like, give it to Nancy Isime. That girl is good. I was thinking Nancy Isime was just an... A presenter but right now her acting skills i like i caught cap for her like she's doing an excellent job nancy Sima was the great actor in this movie like i feel she's the one that held this movie from beginning to the end of the movie so we see them trying to bury someone and in my head i'm like who are they trying to bury that suspense was was something else so we see them bury someone after they finished the um, burial and then not really a burial like they were burying they killed someone obviously they killed someone and they're trying to bury the person so next thing we see um or um, what's her name again ini okoji ini okoji is actually sarah in this movie and nancy is similar is um um kemi so i don't know that i should use their names their real names i should just use the names they presented on the show so let me try and use the names that were used on blood in blood sisters so kemi and um sarah are very good friends they've been friends since kemi lost her parents and then sarah had to beg her parents to allow um kemi come stay with them that's show you how close they were and then they kind of got going everything in life they were just all about themselves fighting for themselves being there for themselves basically so they grew into adults and now we now see sarah trying to get married to a billionaire a billionaire we see um sarah trying to marry get married to Kola, who is a billionaire and apparently 
the essence of this marriage is because Sarah's parents are in debt. So Kola's family, remember Kola is a billionaire. So Kola's family have kind of help them with the loan so it's like a bond now you see this this thing is you see it every day in marriages especially with people that are very rich and buoyant you see families trying to sell out their children's happiness all because you're trying to seal um agreements just because you're trying to build up relationships and they don't even put into consideration okay how are my children feeling about this thing are they happy no all they're happy is relationship that should be sustained and um, how would one clear up loans and all of that so we see that happening and first and foremost sarah wore a particular dress and came down and then her husband called her now says this is not the dress i told you to wear like Okay, let's let's say although personally I feel the dress color wanted I'm going to insert the dress color wanted to wear the dress color wanted her, his wife to wear which is Sarah to wear I'll leave it here but the dress Sarah wore previously I'll leave it here I personally preferred the dress color wanted her to wear for the engagement party but I don't know Sarah and her friend Kemi actually choose one and then Kola had to tell her to go change the dress Kemi was like why did you change the dress like I thought we agreed on this why then have you changed it you know all of that as they were still having that conversation guess who walks in Sarah's ex walks into their engagement but look at me Sarah Sarah I need to talk to you Sarah just let me talk to her I need to talk to you Sarah it's, I know him it's okay I know him Sarah don't, don't do this what is this like first and foremost who does that you know your ex is getting married why are you coming at night to her engagement like even no matter how you love this person if this person first and foremost you had called her like 12 times and she had blocked you let's say for me let's take for instance okay yes she loves you but because she's trying to salvage her family by marrying this guy why then are you still calling her why then are you coming to the engagement party like why are you trying to ruin things for her if you really love her you should respect her and stay off because she has told you what she wants okay i want to marry because she's not a fool yeah she's not happy going into that relationship or into that marriage but she's trying to respect her because i feel it was his presence that actually ruined the whole thing that actually ruined and um, sarah's whole present life kind of if you if you get so when he now comes in they try to stop him security tries to stop him and then sarah goes to meet him and like oh you shouldn't be here and all of that so i don't know that i'm spoiling things but gist is that because of her ex coming there she goes up and then her husband her husband to be called and hits her are you lying to me he could have shoot him And um, uh, that blow in my head, I'm like, no way. There is no way I'm going to take this blow and still be here. First and foremost, this is my engagement night. And from what happened, this is not the first time Kola is hitting her. Kola has always been hitting her. And she made that promise to um, her friend, Kemi, that if he does that again, she's going to end the relationship. But it's now surprising to see that she wanted to still stay in until her friend and told her no you cannot still stay in here so what first of all why would a guy i don't know why it happens like a guy gets to slap you and you're going to say oh he's going to change he will never change that guy will never change trust me see a guy that's first and foremost hits you slap you see just get ready just get just, just get your whole body to be his punching bag because he will still be too. they never ever ever change it's in them the only time they can change is if you've given them correct bits enough, if you've called police and given them a good statement, you don't even have to even stay there until you die there before you now know that, okay, well, I should leave. It's, it's not like that. Then after that whole scenario, we now see Sarah trying to talk to her mother that she's not doing this engagement thing again. And mother now says no, that she must be stay for the game. That's not just slap. That uh, what did she do? Why must it always be a lady's fault whenever a guy hits her? And I don't get it. Like, can we all stop this? Okay, I have to talk to ourselves now because we are the future parents of the next generation. Can we kind of not do them or make the same mistakes our parents made? 
if your children complain about things sit down and listen to them don't always think oh they are the ones that are at fault yes you might have this stubborn child that is always causing problems here and there but as much as possible try and listen to them hear them out then before you make your judgment and don't make your judgment based on oh because on a selfish ground basically that was all half that transpired between um, Sarah's mom and her and then Sarah's mom was like no my enemies are at work that is Sarah's fault for all of that why would she allow her ex come here and she's trying to explain and, and she, uh, the whole thing is um Sarah agreed to go on with the engagement and before then we now have Sarah's not Sarah Kola's brother Kola okay in Kola's family they're actually three three in quotes I'm going to come there when I say three in quotes Kola is actually the second child and then his elder brother is actually not happy that Kola is running the business. I don't know why Kola is running the business. I don't know why the mother decided to give it to Kola, but Kola is running the business. And then the first, uh, his first elder brother is angry about the whole thing. So <laughs> he's angry about the whole thing. Like why would Kola be running um, the business where he is the first son? So he actually sends his man to go ahead. And meet Kola and to kill Kola because why would you want Hitman to kill Kola on his engagement night? Like, bro, is this how much you hate him? Kill him on his engagement night? But Kola himself is a street guy, he saw the guy that wanted to kill him, he now went ahead, hit him, and actually sent him out of the venue. <laughs> I went to his brother and told him, I know what you're up to. I know you know that hits man, but if anything happens to me, you are the one to be held accountable. And before after that, he now goes ahead to tell his younger sister because there are three, two boys and one girl. The younger sister is uh She's on drugs, so she was sent on rehab. And then she even came on the engagement night. She came with, she came with fire, like she came with fire, but joking kind of fire. Maybe leave a clip of what she said when she walked into the engagement dinner. So after that, she now he now goes there as Kola goes to tell the sister that if anything happens to me tonight, then know it is our brother. Sarah tells Kemi to go invite the groom. Let them have a discussion like, concerning the whole beating and all of that. Like, I'm not even doing this relationship again because your beating is just too much. And then Kola goes on and says, you cannot be telling me that. Who are you? And goes ahead to strangle her. But the good thing is, why in the process of trying to strangle her, her best friend walks in. See, this is her best friend. Like, this is her blood sister. At this point in time, they're actually sisters. Because she really came. Kemi came all out for Sarah all out 100 percent like she didn't even leave one thing one stone on porn she came all out kemi um, walked in and saved the whole situation hits color on the head and then color's gun dropped and why why at that kemi shot color and color died why they're still at that people are now looking for the groom where's the groom they had to hide his body sarah went out did for her all okay welcome everybody took the wife of her father to go look for the groom obviously she knows what happened she knows that the, her groom is lit and then she gains she comes back and like oh i can't find the groom and then everyone started going looking for the groom then the mother colors mother who is kate henshaw jesus christ of nazareth that woman i see i felt like flogging her so many times because there's some attitude she was giving in my head i'm like woman what exactly is the problem? I'm going to give you for one an instance here. When her daughter, who is on rehab, came and tried to explain things to her, okay, this is what I think it is. Um, she was just trying to explain to the mother what's going on about the son's disappearance and all of that. Trying to tell her that she feels the first son is involved in it. The mother just blanked her like, don't think I'm going to give you this company. Like, no matter how bad the child is, you shouldn't push that child. Because it was because of what she said, because of what the mother said to 
Timian. I think that's the pronunciation. Right? Timian. Timian. I think that's the pronunciation. Because of what the mother said to her, to her daughter, it pushed her into doing drugs again. She had her to go back to drugs and took her to back to rehab. So the whole thing was just complicated. For, let me just continue. So the um, search for the groom continued, and the mother in her head is like, "Oh, the groom has finally realized his mistake and decided to walk away from the whole marriage because the mother was not in support of that marriage." But well, what can she do? You get what can she do? So she was happy that oh, the son has finally walked away and all of that and all of that, not knowing that her son is dead. Why the process of that? The two children that are left and I'm fighting like who is going to take over the company and then at, last, at the end of the day the first son took over the company running affairs of the company but he was not doing so well in the company because he couldn't sell off his vaccines commissioners the minister was not taking his calls anymore and he had this dirty wife of a lady like the wife was doing all the dirty dealings that had to do with the man like when I said dirty dealings, calling the minister, making sure that um, things are cleared. It was even the wife that initiated that that hitman goes and kill Kola on his wedding day. That is how bad the wife was. See, when you want to marry, marry right. See, because some women, some women are worse than that. One woman is worse than 100 men. <laughs> My boss always tell me. If you see 100 men, not even one woman can match her if she decides to be wicked. And that is so true. Like, that woman was everything. Like, this is wife was everything. That's the first one's wife was everything. So, the search for the um, collar goes on. Then, luckily enough, dogs kind of find um, collars body because the grave was actually a shallow grave. They kind of sniffed and got it. And then police goes ahead and at the end of the day, they realized that yes it was color color was lit the mother was actually crying that and all of that like color is her best child because i was just wondering what kind of kiss if you see the mother and son kiss that they were having my head are like okay i have to say this parents even if you have a favorite child i don't think it is right to actually push it shove it off on the faces of other children that this is my favorite child because he has a way of causing problem in the long run because of this oh color is my favorite child i think that is what kind of had um that's why color and his elder brother had that misunderstanding because the elder brother could not understand why the mother would choose him choose color over him I didn't just make sense to me, but at the end of the day, I think I kind of know why it made sense. At during um, Kola's burial, we now realize that Kola uh, is not even their demolance. Like Kola's father is not even how do I put it? At the end of the day, Kentensha did away match, so Kola is not even their sibling. Do you get? So I don't know why how it happened and all of that. I don't know why she went to do a way match. I don't even know, but. It just shall reviewed at the end of the day. Timayen got to know about it, and that was what made her go into drugs because she couldn't understand why her mother would cheat on her father and still made her think that or believe that oh, it was her father's fault why she was cheating. So it made her go into drugs, and that was it. So the search for um, the killers of color was now on, and then at the end of the day, um. It was Sha revealed, or it was Sha known. I don't want to break to spoil everything. Sha, it was Sha. The killers were actually found. I don't say who the killers were, so I don't spoil everything for every people. So I will just go and watch. The killers were actually found. Ah, do you remember when they said who the killers were? Oh my god, I already said it though. Hey, I know this where you do. Okay, yes, the killers. The killers were the two best friends, the two blood sisters, but you won't blame them. It was on self defense. They were just defending themselves. So I want to just know now what are your thoughts about this thing? All this that I have said. First and foremost, I feel Kate Henshaw. I don't want to give you the ending part of what happened. Because the ending part was I I, I loved how it ended, trust me. Because it just needed to end like that. To me, it had to just be like the star girl of this whole ending. I just loved how she carried everything on her head and you said you know what i'm going to be the man of the house that's to me because her brother could not do what it took like the brother the brother is not so dirty but because he married a dirty wife 
he now made him do dirty things. He, he, he didn't even have the balls to do dirty things. He now made him get involved in doing dirty things, even if he did not do the dirty things. But he had to take everything, take all the glory, and ended everything. Like, she ended everything perfectly well. So now let me know your thoughts. Kemi and uh, Sarah. Personally, I think they did a good job because sometimes you cannot just be keeping quiet and getting tormented by men. And this color guy, he has been hitting so many girls. He even ha made one of the ladies go blind. And she went MIA because of that money and power. You know, when you have money, when you have power, you feel you're on top of the world. So, color was just getting away with beating ladies and then nobody says anything about it. He was just getting away with it. So, I like that. Okay, I won't say I was in support of the mother. But that was self-defense. If they had all killed him, color would kill them. So, which one is better? I don't know <laughs> but let me know in the comment section what you think about it do you think i don't know i don't i don't really know what the best option would have been because even if she had shouted and called for help is there anybody around there that would have helped them would would they have believed her story or their story because at the end of the day they still called some people they even called um Kola's best friend i thought Kola's best friend that see what happened yes i killed Kola, but this is what transpired he didn't believe at first until he now went and asked Kola's exes and then that was how he got to believe that oh truly his best friend Kola was actually a woman beater was actually maltreating women so sometimes things just happen and you're like okay should you have done it another way if you had done it another way, what what would people say? Look at um Sarah's mom, for instance. Your daughter is telling you that this man is hitting you, and she now would have said, just one slap. Like, are you going to wait till he uses a pistol on your head before you say, Oh, it is just one pistol? I don't get it. We need to do better for ourselves, we need to know what best suits us, we need to know what is right for ourselves. You cannot keep tolerating things because of you just feel like tolerating it because from all that transpired now is because of just making one wrong marriage or one wrong relationship one wrong relationship has a way of ruining everything about you ruining you yourself you personally it will ruin people around you directly as you also ruin people outside indirectly one way or the other because it's because if only she had walked out of this whole engagement or marriage this whole thing shouldn't have happened she wouldn't have been in a situation where she had to kill someone because she ended up killing the photographer and they didn't even talk about it they didn't talk about her killing the photographer that actually saw them taking off and um, colors body. they didn't talk about it nobody actually even noticed that this photographer was missing they didn't even say anything so if only she had worked out on that relationship this whole thing wouldn't have happened. So all I'm trying to say is, it must have the type of relationship you are in. Yes, you might not have the resources to walk away from that relationship. You might, um, how do I put it now again? You might, you might be scared of walking away. The person might have power. It's not just a slice. How do I put that? It's not just about women, uh, inclusive of men. You might be in that relationship where the woman is beating you, hitting you, abusing you. You mustn't stay in that relationship. Yes, you might not have the resources to walk away, but just walk away. At least just take one step. Walk away. Yes, you might tell people about it and they'll be like, ah, especially when it comes to guys, they'll be like, ah, ah, how can a woman be doing this, all these kind of things? Just walk away. Just yourself first. Believe in yourself first that if I walk away, something good will come. Just take that one step. Because it's when we don't take that one step that so many things happen. You see, it abuse. I've never seen abuse bring anything positive in life. I have never seen it. I have, if you've seen it, let me know. But I have never seen abuse, abusive relationship bring anything tangible in life. So the best thing is walk away because you will not gain from it. You will rather lose. Your family will lose. Your parents will be there crying. Like look at Sarah's um, parents now. The father had stroke. The father had stroke from all of this. So now the father's health is at stake. And now everybody's looking at your parents like, you'll not be doing this one's, father, this one's daughter. This one's, it's uncalled for. Then for Kate Henshaw, I love Kate Henshaw's acting. Let me even talk about the dresses. Yeah, the dressing. Ah! See, they finish work when it comes to dressing. I love Kate Henshaw's dressing. Like she wore statement pieces. And in my head, I'm like, wow. 
who spied you know, I, you know i've not even checked who even spied them kate henshaw's dressing was superb like i loved everything about her dressing her look was wow i love this i loved everything about this movie i don't think i would say i hated anything about it like everything was just okay then i was was i was just mute all through this movie like he just kept mute he was just i think it was even in season four or season three that he actually said something and they say something that he was even on the call like i was mute all through he said nothing he was just looking like his looks will just tell you okay this is what you have to do or okay yes no all of them did well like all the actors did well i'm so so impressed about all this so i'll see you all later yes i'm back full time now i'm sorry i went to mia but i'm back full time now i'm going to give you reviews of anything that comes up next so see you all later and bye that's it you're real you will back again you're willing to let go of everything like i want to laugh.